What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games, and today... Oh my wordy, there's a lot of news about Ultimate Power. The second expansion of the Digimon trading card game, it's out next month. And up until today, we had had very, very little news. We'd seen a booster pack, and that was about it, to be honest with you. Well, the good news is, there's a magazine that's just come out in Japan, and we have had a, um... Well, frankly, a rather gigantic dump of new information and news. This makes me extremely happy. And stop me if you've heard this one before. I need to give a massive shout out to the lovely Jason Snowjacks, the wonderful mod over on the Facebook group, for providing lots of translation help. Because as I've said on a number of occasions, lovely, lovely dude. And starting off with the bigger story we've got here. Purple and black are confirmed. I have been saying all the way along, I do not believe they will introduce black and purple as two new colours after having already introduced green as a new colour in the first set. I thought going from three colours in the starter decks to six by the time we got to the second set, I thought that was too much too soon and I was fairly convinced it wasn't going to happen. I thought we'd all misunderstood what had been put out there. We hadn't. There are two new colours. Bit strange to me, it seems like a lot very quickly, but we have had both purple and black confirmed. That is now a thing. And we have been shown a couple trainers of them, though we don't really know much about what they do. These, these pictures aren't perfect. Though, of course, the lovely Jason Snowjacks has had a good go at translating them, because <laughs> why would they not? So we've got a black tie. <laughs> black tie. All of your black Digimon get plus 1,000 power on your opponent's turn. So it's very much like the opposite of the red tie that came around in the starter decks that on your turn gives all of your Digimon an extra 1,000 power. What I find very interesting, of course, is that we have had a promo blue tie. So now that gives us three of the six colors have actually had tie as a tamer which I find kind of interesting. We've also seen a purple Yamato. Now, Yamato we have seen before. We've seen a couple of times, but only ever as a blue tamer. We've not seen coming around with any other colors until today. Although, as a side note, as a colorblind person, I'm really not over the moon that we're going to have blue and purple in the same game. I think they've done a decent job of differentiating them, but as a colorblind person, there are many other colors you could have picked. Now, according to the lovely Jason Snowjacks, when you play, you retrieve a purple option card or a purple Digimon card and put it in your hand. Presumably, that's getting it back from the discard pile, which is recovering cards, which is something we don't see very much at all. Now, it's kind of a one-shot deal, right? You use it, and then it's gone forever. You can't reuse it anymore you've essentially played a tamer down you've gotten one nice bit of a bonus and then that's it it's gone forever which is a little bit um yeah let's say not entirely satisfactory for me but then again we don't have many cards in digimon that actually let you recover stuff from your trash so i am totally okay with it very much worth noting they are both four cost tamers and at this stage i need to give a massive shout out to with the will.net for providing higher quality, better images of them. And to the lovely Jimmy McClellan over on the Facebook group, who pointed me towards these lovely larger images. So we've got two new types that have been revealed, which is kind of cool. And we've got a couple new tamers. We also know what the secret rares are from the set. The secret rares are going to be Black War Greymon, and Beelzemon. We're not really given any information at all about these, even if we had a perfect picture of them. Um, yeah, that they've literally been covered. So we're shown that the secret rares are those cards, but we're not shown very much about them at all. Now, we're not going to go through every single new card we've been shown in great detail in this video. That would literally take me a couple of hours. What we're going to do is go through as we get really clear scans. But we are going to go through some of the bigger stuff in this video. And then show you a bunch of new cards in the next video. So, 
we have actually been given a bunch of information about the sets generally. But before we get to there, we need to know about a new keyword, reactivate. And it's actually been shown on Toy Agamon. Now, remember, we got regular Agamon, and then we got Professor Agamon. Now, I got all excited thinking that was going to bring a bunch of jobs in. Turns out Professor Agamon is actually a thing in the Digimon world. My apologies for not knowing that sooner. I'm new to the whole Digimon thing. I'm learning. Well, it turns out Toy Agamon is also a thing in Digimon. And the good news is we are getting a Toy Agamon, and we are getting a black Toy Agamon. Now, it is a free cost to play normally, zero cost to evolve level three, all fairly standard, and it's got 1,000 power, which is very low, but generally when we're given 1,000 power, that is a, a giant red flag that it's going to have a really good skill, a really good reason to play it. Well, it does. It's got the new keyword, reactivate, at your opponent's active phase, put this Digimon to active. Now, it is an inheritable skill, so you get it on the Digimon that evolved from Toy Agamon. But basically, every time it goes to your opponent's turn during their active phase, you get made active. This is huge. Because remember, resting Digimon can be destroyed. Active Digimon cannot be destroyed. And yes, yeah, sure, green especially has a bunch of really good ways of turning your Digimon to rest. The option card Flower Cannon comes to mind. Two cost just puts a Digimon to rest. Although you can obviously play that in any deck as long as you're playing a little bit of green. Well, now you reactivate on your opponent's turn, so your opponent can't just take you down. You go all the way up to a level 6 or maybe even higher Digimon. Your opponent wants to take you down before you become too much of a threat, but no, ladies and gentlemen, you become active on their active phase, and that means that they cannot attack you and take you down. This is huge absolutely huge it means that if you're a blocker you can attack on your turn and then you'll still be made active on your opponent's active phase so you can attack on your turn and block on their turn whereas usually if you attack on your turn oh no you can't make yourself active on your opponent's turn so you don't get to block the turn after you attack this you do I like having new keywords. I really like having new keywords. And reactivate seems like a really, really strong one. Very good for blockers, but also just good generally for making sure you're active on your opponent's turn. What's that, ladies and gentlemen? You want another new keyword? How about companion? Now, we've actually seen this on a couple. How about we talk about Devimon? Now, we knew we were getting a Devimon. Devimon was on the booster pack. And Devimon is one of the purple cards that's been shown off. Level 4, 6 cost to play normally, 2 cost to evolve, 4,000 power. It's about right, but it's a little bit weak. We're not loving, if I'm honest with you, we're, we're not loving the whole 4,000 power can have it all, ladies and gentlemen, but we're still not loving the 4,000 power. But it does have this new keyword skill, Companion. When only this Digimon d is deleted in battle, delete the other Digimon that was in the same battle as well. So basically, it, it takes you down with it. Think Destiny Bond in Pokemon. If you get taken down in battle... You also take down the other Digimon that took you down. That's awesome. So yeah, Devimon's a little bit weaker than we might ideally like. But don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. We're good. We're really good. As a side note, the Piedmon from the same set also has Companion. But we're going to be looking at that in more detail in the next video. I don't want to give that like a, a quick 10 second brush in this one. That seems a little bit rude. So Devimon here is a really, really nice card with Companion. And it seems to be that it's actually got Companion as both a regular skill and an inheritable skill. Which is very, very strange. Kind of cool, but still very, very strange. What's that, ladies and gentlemen? Two new keyword skills were not enough. You want another new keyword skill. How about Devolve? And we need to go ahead and take a little bit of a look at Machine Dramon here. 
to actually show this off. It is another one of those Digimon that we knew was going to be coming in the set, and it brings in this new keyword skill, Devolve. Now, it has a number attached to it. So, Devolve 2 discards two cards from the stack of two of your opponent's Digimon from the top. If that Digimon has no evolution sources or is a level 3 Digimon, you cannot discard them. I.e., if you've got a level 6 Digimon, you get rid of the level 6 and the level 5, and you leave them as a level 4. But if they're a level 3, you don't get to leave them as a Digitama, because remember, Digitama cannot exist in the real world, in the battle area. It's not the real world at all, it's a computer thing, but never mind, all right? Cannot exist outside of the raising area. Similarly, it seems you cannot use this to take out a Digimon, you are just using it to devolve them down and make them significantly weaker. I like this. I think this is... Th this seems to have the potential to be absolutely brutal. Like, proper job brutal. Because you can just take out, you know, you can take an Omnimon down to a level 5 Digimon. That seems harsh. I don't think this is one we're going to see that we're going to be able to throw around willy-nilly. Now, we should, I suppose, have a little bit of a look at Machine Dramon. Just, you know, to not just mention its keyword skill and run right away. We are essentially talking a level 6. And, you know, 12 cost to play normally is about standard. 11,000 power is standard. 4 cost to evolve is actually quite high. And incidentally, it is a play skill, not an evolve skill. So you do need to actually pay the 12 cost to play it normally. But this is kind of what I was saying. This is not a skill that we're just going to be allowed to have anywhere you like. You are going to need to work for this, ladies and gentlemen. This is not going to be a skill that you're always going to be able to use. Now, we are given a bunch of pointers about what each color actually represents here. And Jason's given us a bit of a look, so let's have a quick run through. Black, we are told they are going to be Metal, Empire, and Machines. And they are going to focus on Blocker and Reactivate. Blocker, of course, is where you make a Digimon the target of one of your opponent's attacks to save one of your other Digimon or yourself which is kind of cool purple is going to feature darkness demons and devils and is going to focus on that new companion keyword skill we looked at where you take them down with you and the trash pile yellow is going to gain destructive powers i.e just lowering your opponent's dp in the same way we saw so far Red is going to have effect conditions based on your opponent's trash. So that's going to be an interesting one. Green is going to have explosive growth speed and absorb evolution. Now, one thing that is very interesting here, of course, is that we've already seen a bunch of evolution cheating in New Evolution with Green. Ways to evolve quicker or using skills. So that seems like it's going on. And blue, you're going to be able to make a Vidramon fan deck now. Oh, and it's going to be jamming based. Remember, jamming means it cannot be destroyed by a security Digimon. When you attack security Digimon, even if they're more powerful than you, they will not destroy you. And then we were given a second lot of hints, apparently. Yellow is going to have tamers that will have synergy with lowering power. Very much a yellow thing to do. Red is going to endure until your opponent has more trash, so more blockers and Digimon destroyers. So we're going to have all these skills that interact with the trash. We're going to have blockers and ways to destroy Digimon, so we survive long enough into the game to get to that stage. Green are going to be able to play jammers, so you can have plenty of Digimon that stay in rest mode. Cool. Blue is going to have synergy with tamers that put themselves to rest. Remember the promo Taichi and the Yamato that came around in New Evolution. Both blue tamers we've talked about in this video put themselves to rest when you use them. So there's going to be a little bit of synergy going on there. Black is going to balance offense and defense with a combo of blocker and reactivate. We've already seen that they're going to have that. Purple is going to threaten your opponent's board with high DP Digimon with Companion. So they're going to have quite high power, and when they go down, they're going to take you with them. That seems like a fairly, um, a fairly horrible combination, to be honest with you. That seems mean. 
And that's a lot of information for one video. Except I cannot finish this without mentioning we're getting a yellow Agamon! We're actually getting yellow Agamon. Now, the stats are about as generic as you get. Free cost to play normally, zero cost to evolve, 3,000 power. And apparently what this Agamon does, if you have three or more yellow tamers, there is an inheritable skill that says when you attack, you draw one. Now, we know that drawing one when you attack is a phenomenal skill. We've seen how good Uppermon has been for blue decks. But having to get three yellow tamers out, does seem quite um quite a lot to ask then again it's a really good skill so maybe it's gonna be worth it there's a lot going on here ladies and gentlemen we got three new keyword skills we got two new colors to talk about and we got a bit of information about what the types are gonna do i'm gonna show you some more new cars in a video later on today but for now i just want to revel in all the new newness that is ultimate power for a second expansion of a tcg this is a lot Two new colors, three new keyword skills. That is a huge amount to put in one set. But given that I'm a man who likes to sit here and analyze card games and Digimon being one of my very favorites, yeah, no arguments there, ladies and gentlemen. No arguments there. But you need to tell me what you think about all of this stuff, so let me know in the comment section. Go nuts, me nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, where we talk Digimon and a bunch of other games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, all kinds of fun stuff. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wasi Plays.